Apple just released iOS 26.2 and here's everything you need to know about the update. There's a slick new animation for the menus throughout iOS that makes Liquid Glass look more fluid, kind of like what Apple originally showed at WWDC. The transparency of the lock screen clock can now be customized, so just long press on the lock screen and go to customize, then you'll see this bottom slider here that lets you change between a very glassy look and more of a frosted glass look. You can now have your screen flash when you get a notification if you go into your accessibility settings and then into visual and under flash for alerts there's a new option for screen reminders got a big upgrade because you can now set an alarm while creating a reminder just mark it as urgent and you'll see this new alarm when the time comes and from here you can slide to dismiss the alarm or snooze it and from the snooze pop-up you can reschedule the reminder or press the circle to mark it as complete the level tool and the measure application gets a crazy cool liquid glass makeover with this really cool refraction on the numbers along with a new look when you have the level on green or red. You can now airdrop somebody who isn't saved as a contact for 30 days after entering a six digit pin and you don't have to have your airdrop set to contacts only. We finally have offline lyrics for Apple Music along with larger album artwork for playlists. We now get auto-generated chapters in podcasts, along with a new section called From This Episode, where you can view links that were mentioned in the episode. There's a new enhanced safety alerts section in your notification settings for earthquakes and imminent threats. The Apple News application gets an improved design with the topics up top, so you can navigate to different categories easier. We now have full support for tables in the Freeform application. And if you want to see even more new features in iOS 26.2, just click on my my profile picture and check out my iOS 26.2 what's new video here on YouTube.